A War of Flowers opens in Paris in 1938. Clara Vine, who's an actress, is making a film and she's enjoying a few days respite from the increasingly fear-filled atmosphere of Berlin. What she's not expecting is an approach from a British secret intelligence operative, Guy Hamilton, who proposes a task which is probably the most difficult one she's ever had to undertake, and that is to befriend Hitler's girlfriend, Ava Brown. War of Flowers also finds Clara relatively footloose and fancy free because Ralph Summers, the man she met in the Winter Garden, has been found out and he's had to stay in Britain. His undercover role has been exposed and he's told her it's too difficult for them to continue meeting. And um, Leo Quinn, who of course was her first love, who she met in Black Roses, has, she's not seen him for five years. and. She still thinks of him a lot. She misses him. She hasn't heard from him and she doesn't know. Berlin in 1938 was a very interesting time because people knew that war was coming or people feared that war was coming, but there was a febrile attempt to prevent its outbreak. So the, um, the year of 1938 is marked by uh, Chamberlain's flight to Munich. Or, in fact, he made three different journeys in that crucial September period to try and um, to try and broker a peace, which we now, in retrospect, call appeasement. But um, Chamberlain was passionately keen that war should not break out. So, if you were walking the streets of Berlin in 1938, you would be aware of this sense of of bated breath. Would the leaders manage to fend off war, or would? What you saw on the streets every day, the military tanks rolling by, the marches, the increasing build-up of the Luftwaffe, lead inexorably to war. The citizens of Berlin were absolutely strung out by the, by the tension that, that filled their city at that time. And um, I thought it would be interesting to set Clara's latest adventure in the middle of that, that tension. Um, and she herself is feeling it too because she's got decisions to make about her future and what she will do if war does break out. <laughs>